Good evening, everyone, and thanks for choosing Acadiana's News Channel at 6 o'clock. I'm Jim Hummel. And I'm Marcel Fontenot. An Evangeline Parish man is still on the run tonight after deputies tried to arrest him on what's known as a high-risk warrant. Deputies say 28-year-old Brandon Messer should be considered armed and dangerous. Valerie Ponsetti spoke with Messer's family members today, who they and they say it's all being blown way out of proportion. It's our top story. <laughs> Brandon Messer has a warrant for his arrest for illegal discharge of a gun and as of Friday, terrorizing. But some family members say that was all a misunderstanding. Really, it's just, I say it's just a big misunderstanding. I don't know why the police was even called in on it. You know, that's all. I just hope my little cousin comes out of the woods and he's all right. The Evangeline Parish Sheriff's Office says they've gotten several complaints of violent acts by Messer, including the most recent call that accused Messer of threatening someone associated with the Happy Hollow Church near his home, something his family disputes. There was never no threats made at the church or nothing like that. Messer's cousin claims he was only trying to scare some dogs off. We was all in the house right here, and the dogs knocked his little girl off the bicycle right here in the road. I don't know if they're trying to bite her or just play with her, but they knocked her off the bicycle, had her laying in the road, and he came out and shot up in the air, the dogs would run off. Deputies say they heard Messer threatened to shoot and kill the pastor of the church, members of the congregation, and any law enforcement officer who tried to stop him. Sheriff's deputies say Messer should be considered armed and dangerous, but family members say he's unarmed. He said he's an armed man, he don't have a gun. They took his gun yesterday, and they're trying to say they're going to shoot to kill him. Bro, that's my family, bro. Now you back away from him. In Evangeline Parish, Valerie Ponsetti, KTC TV3. And so far, two people are under arrest in connection with the manhunt. Yesterday, deputies say they spotted a vehicle that fits the description of Messer's vehicle, and they actually watched Messer get out of the passenger side and then run into a wooded area. The driver of that vehicle, who has not been named, as well as Messer's father, Luther Eugene Messer were both arrested and charged as accessories after the fact. A Port Barry man is in jail after police say he led them on a chase on Highway 190 drunk with a two-year-old in the back seat. Police say when they tried to pull over Kevin 